Hi everybody. We were studying lesson birds and their bodies. In the previous session, we discussed about birds. How do birds fly? About the feathers. So, can you tell me? We have we have arms or hands. What do the birds have in place of arms? How do they use it? Yes, they have wings instead of arms. Most of them use their wings to fly. Can all the birds fly? The answer is no. All birds cannot fly. So, can you name few birds which cannot fly? Yes, the birds such as ostrich, emu and kiwi cannot fly. Can you tell me why is it like humans cannot fly and birds can fly? Can you put on the wings and you'll start flying? No, human bodies are big in size and heavy. So, we will not be able to fly even if we attach wings to our body. Now, why can the birds fly? We have already discussed that the bird's bones are hollow. They are very thin. Hollow means empty from inside. Because of which they can fly easily. Their body becomes light. Also, the shape of the bird's body, what is it like? Yes, narrow in the front and back and broad in the middle. So, in that is the reason which makes the bird fly and help them to fly easily. Now, how exactly do they fly? We have discussed. Yes, they jump in the air and flap their wings up and down. They move their wings rigorously up and down. And how do they change the direction? They use their tail to change the direction. To stop, they spread out their wings. So, what are feathers? We have already discussed that bird's body is throughout covered by feathers. And how do they help them? The feathers help the birds to fly. They also help to keep the body dry. Yes, they have oil-like coating on the feathers. So, it doesn't let the water to stop on the body. So, it's like wearing a raincoat. So, the birds do not get wet. Now, how many types of feather are there? Yes, take a look at this image. So, can you tell me which feather it is? It's a flight feather. The long feathers found on bird's body. And why are they used? As the name tells, they are used to fly. They help the birds to fly. Now next is, can you guess which feather it is? They are body feathers. Sorry, they are down feathers. They are found on the body down the flight feathers. They are fluffy. They help the bird to keep the bodies warm. Now, next is the body feather. Why are they used? Yes, they are used to cover the whole body of the bird. So, how many total types of feathers are there? There are three types of feather in the bird's body. The flight feathers, the body feathers and the down feathers. Now, today we are going to discuss more in detail about the bird's body. Now, this, can you tell me this feathers, this is a beautiful picture of what? Yes, it's a peacock, our national bird. So, peacock has very beautiful feathers 
on its tail. Now we are going to discuss about bird beak. What is a beak? What do we have in our body which replaces the beak? Yes, we have mouth and the birds have beak. Right, in place of mouth, the birds have beak. The mouth of a bird is called a beak. They use their beak to eat. The shape of the beak depends upon the type of food they eat. Like different animals eat different kind of food. We have already discussed. So, their mouth parts are suited for the kind of food they eat. In the same way, different birds have different types of beak which suits according to the food they eat. Now, they also use their beak to build the nest. They clean and smoothen their feathers with the beak. It is called as preening. Now, a bird's beak is very important part of their body. The birds use their beak for building nests, feeding their young ones. Have you ever seen the birds bringing nuts, worms or different things and putting in it in the young one's mouth? So, in this way, they use their beak to feed their young ones for cleaning their feathers, for defending themselves. Yes, to defend themselves if some bird or some animal try to attack them. The beak of some birds is very sharp. In this way, it helps them to defend themselves. Of course, for eating, killing their prey. Beaks are of different size and color. Their beaks are like our mouth. Our mouth has the upper jaw and the lower jaw. In the same way, the beak also is divided into two parts, the upper part and the lower part. The bird's beak can tell us what it eats and sometimes how it catches its prey. Most of the birds, except parrots and the birds who eat flesh like eagles, falcons, catch and hold their food with the beak. The birds cannot bite or chew. They do not have teeth. The bird's beak is suited to the kind of food they eat. By looking at the beak, we can tell what the bird eats. Now, different birds have different types of beak. Like long thin beak, strong curved beak short pointed beak, long pointed beak, sharp pointed beak, broad flat beak, strong sharp hooked beak. Now in this way then from the name we can understand about how does the beak looks. Now different birds have different kinds of beak. The Use of beak in the birds. Now, kinds of beak that the birds and the uses. Long thin beak. Hummingbird. Which bird has long thin beak? The long thin beak is found in hummingbird. They suck the nectar from the flower. Strong curved beak. The strong curved beak is found in the parrot. What does the parrot eat? Yes, nuts. So, it helps to crack open the fruits and nuts. Short pointed beak. You must have seen this beak. It's very common found in sparrow. So, it helps up to pick up the seeds. Long pointed beak. It is found in woodpecker to remove bark and find insects. What does the woodpecker do? 
Have you seen the woodpecker? Have you seen the woodpecker? What does it do? Yes, it taps the bark of the tree and pulls out the insects from the trees. Now, broad flat beak. It is found in duck and swans. So, it helps to scoop up the muddy water and the mud and the water flow from a hole beside the beak. And what remains in the mouth of the duck is plants and few insects which it eats. Long pointed beak. In which kind of birds this kind of beak is found? It is found in heron and similar kind of birds who eat fish. Yes, this beak helps them to catch the fish from the water. Strong, sharp and hooked beak. Now, as the name suggests, doesn't it come to your mind that which kind of birds may have this kind of beak? Yes, the birds of prey who eat other small animals like eagle, owl, etc. have this kind of beak. Now, this is a picture of a hummingbird. Can you see the beak? The long thin beak. It helps to suck nectar. Doesn't it look like a straw? So, as we have drink with the help of the straw, in the same way, hummingbird sucks nectar with the help of its long thin beak. Now, the next beak is of parrot, the strong curved beak. The parrot have strong curved beak which help them to crack open fruits and nuts. Curved beak help them to eat hard and unripe fruits. Now, sharp pointed beaks. The birds like sparrow, pigeon, peacock have short pointed beak. This kind of beak helps to pick up seeds and worms also help to crush the seeds. So, what kind of beak does the sparrow have? Yes, they have short pointed beak. Now, the long pointed beak of heron. Can you see the beak? Of course, it looks long enough. They are found in stock, kingfisher, heron. It is used to pick up fish from the water. As these birds have fish which they take from the water. That's why the heron, kingfisher have long pointed beak which help them to catch fish from the water. Now, next is the sharp pointed beak of the woodpecker. The birds like woodpecker have sharp pointed beak. It taps the bark of the tree with its sharp pointed beak. It acts like a chisel to remove the bark and find out insects. Yes, the sharp pointed beak of the woodpecker helps it to tap on the bark of the tree and remove it. So the beak acts like a chisel to remove the bark and find the insects which the bird eats. Now this is the picture of a duck. Which kind of beak is that? Yes, the duck has broad flat beak. Yes, and the birds like duck Swan have broad flat beak. It helps to scoop up muddy water. They fill their mouth with muddy water. The water contains plant and insects. And if that hole, can you see that hole in the beak? The muddy water 
flows out from the hole. Now, what remains in the mouth? Yes, it leaves plants and insects, which is eaten by the bird. So, in this way, the broad flat beak of the duck and swans help them to scoop up muddy water and the water flows out leaving behind plants and insects in the mouth of the bird which the bird eats. Now next is the eagle. Yes, can you see the beak? So, can you tell me or can you guess what does the bird eat? Right, eagle is the bird of prey who eats the flesh of other small animals. So, eagle, hawks, kites, vultures, owls, these all birds eat other small animals. So, they have strong, sharp and hooked beak to tear the flesh of the small animals. So, the birds of prey who eat the flesh of animals like eagle, hawks, kites, vultures, owls have such kind of sharp, hooked and strong beak which helps them to tear the flesh of other small animals. Now, this is arctic tern. Have a look at the beak. So, can you tell what does it eat? Yes, it eats fish. A swan. What does the swan eat? And what kind of beak does the swan have? The swan also has a broad flat beak like a duck. It eats plants and small insects. This is a picture of owl. So, what kind of beak does the owl have? Yes, it has strong, sharp and hooked beak as it eats the flesh of other animals. A penguin. What does a penguin eat? It's, it also eats small fishes. A pelican. Can you see the long beak? So, whenever a bird with a long beak you can see, you can tell that the bird eats what? Yes, the long beak helps the bird to catch the fish from the water. So, pelican also eats fish. We are going to end this session here.